Welcome to another teaching, learning, coaching experience by Identify Point and Fire. I'm Jolena Square. Today's objective is to discuss combat focused shooting and why it appeals to women in general and more specifically to women who are 50 plus years young. The combat focused shooting program is an intuitive program designed to work well with what the body's natural reactions are during a dynamic critical incident. Combat focused shooting is not a marksmanship program, nor is it designed to accentuate the skills taught on a square range at a countertop. More specifically, combat focused shooting teaching, learning, coaching methodology focuses on developing efficient defensive firearm skills that can be used both inside and outside the home. We are creating a blueprint of efficient responses in the brain by having each student train in a context that will help them survive a dynamic critical incident, also known as a combat ambush. This is part one of the combat focus shooting round two. Today we have with us Jody, Linda, and Sharon. Jody, giving us your age, your household situation, what made you get involved with combat focus shooting? I am 51 years old. I am a mother of two. And when I first started getting into shooting, uh, both of my children were at home. It was for personal protection for myself and my family, and it continues to be. Linda, what about you? Well, I had always thought about it, but I didn't do anything about it. And but as a because I watch trends, cultural trends, I know that it's important to be able to defend yourself. Yes. And I always thought if so, there was an altercation somewhere, and I was standing there in a group, and all of a sudden, a perpetrator dropped his gun. Would I even know how to pick it up and use it? And that thought kind of stayed with me. And so I went ahead and bought a gun, but then I didn't know what to do with it. So. 70. Yeah. I'm 70, and I travel a lot on the road for business, and that was another reason why I thought I needed to have some kind of self-defense. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sharon, what about you? Personal safety. Uh, I never grew up around guns and really was not comfortable having one in the house. And I think the um, increasing awareness around the nation with break-ins, and more specifically here in Boca Raton, uh, last summer, I think I read in a crime watch there were like 36 break-ins in one month. My goodness. That doesn't make me feel too good. Uh, aside from that, my husband travels and I didn't uh, want to become a victim. And uh, I decided on my own that I needed to learn how to shoot a gun and to be able to defend myself responsibly and capably. Jody, what was your um, household's reaction, your family's reaction when you first started shooting, as opposed to now? I think my children were uh, curious and interested mm -hmm. in it. Actually, my son trained for a while with us, as you know. Um, that was about it. Everyone else was kind of questioned me, like, why would you want to have that there? Um, why, why would you need that? You know, we're safe. But I agree with... Uh, Sharon and Linda, I'm not sure that you're safe anywhere. And um, so I think they've become more supportive, but haven't chose to join me yet. Right. What about your friends and family, Linda? Well, my friends thought I was a little bit radical <laughs> and maybe strange, but when I brought up to them possible scenarios and put them in the scene with me and maybe one of their grandchildren and then played out what possibly could happen and asked them, would you be glad if I was there and able to defend you? And they said, yes, absolutely. It, it gave them a different way of looking at it. Right. So they're pretty supportive of it now. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. What about you, Sharon? Well, my husband wanted me to um, learn how to shoot and be able to protect myself. but. I think it was interesting. Most of my siblings and family uh, were very surprised that I wanted to do this. And in fact, a couple of my friends remarked that they thought I was the last person in the world that would ever have a gun. I think Linda said that. Yes. <laughs> I didn't know you said that, but I've had yes. a couple of others. You weren't one of them. <laughs> right. So um, it's something I 
decided on my own. I have to ask you, have you ever told your mother? Hmm. Yes, I have. You have. Yes. And she was supportive of this. Um, somewhat. Somewhat. I, I think that I think it's interesting. I, I will tell you, I think my husband's proud of me doing it. Um, I think it he was surprised but very proud that I was doing it. He was laughing the other day. He said, Yeah, I want Sharon to protect me. <laughs> That's, That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Why did you originally opt to train with Bob and myself, Joe? Well, I've known you, Jolyn, for many, many years. And I know that you are a professional. I knew that you would uh, do it the right way. And I wanted someone that I could depend on to, to be able to teach me the right, the wrong, and to take me from beginning to where we are now. And I think we've been shooting for two years, two years, two two years. years now. Linda? Well, it goes back to Sharon because uh, I hadn't seen Sharon for a while, and it's true. I said, what? Sharon is shooting? But I know Sharon enough to know that she would only pick the best way to do it and to learn. And because of her reputation, when she told me about you, I thought that's what I need. What is it that you like about combat focused shooting? I like the fact that I feel like it's training me for a real life moment. I don't think it is real life to stand in a cubicle in a shooting range and shoot at a stationary target. I think it's great practice and I think it needs to be part of it. But I want to train for that moment when I really do need to protect myself or one of my friends. Well, what I really liked is the method. And uh, I had said to Sharon, I had bought a gun and didn't know what to do with it. And I was mostly afraid of going out and trying to learn by myself and picking up bad habits. Mm -hmm. And what I noticed about your approach was that it was all about setting up the right fundamentals. And even if I put my gun down the wrong way, oops, wrong way, you know. And so there was that constant coaching and reminder. So I have felt from the beginning, and then as Jody said, that training for a real life situation, I haven't gotten too far on that yet, but I, I feel like it's practical. It makes sense, and it's in, intuitive. Yes. Sharon? Well, I think they said it all. <laughs> uh, I like the idea of training outside and having the um, moving and shooting, not in a static situation, unlike um, a range. Thank you for watching part one. We hope that you will watch part two, where we join Jody, Linda, and Sharon in the round table.